everyone welcome back to my channel today I gonna show you guys how to crochet a very easy and beautiful rug please check out free written pattern on my blog at knitcrowaddict.com and I will put the link in the description below as well and I hope you enjoy for this project is really easy and really fast to make you just know how to make the chain and then slip stitch and you're good to go it's really easy and i like this pattern a lot and then also the yarn that i use is jumbo seven i think if you make a mat with this pattern it's gonna be very cool project as well you just need to make it bigger okay and then i start off with making the chain and then I just slip stitch across and then just slip stitch into the front loop across and I have 17 rows of color A here and then I have 4 rows of color B and then 4 rows of color A and then 17 rows of color B so total of 42 rows okay so you can use more than two colors or you just use one color it doesn't matter you can play around with your project it's really fun okay so this is the right side and I will show you what the wrong side look like here is the wrong side actually the wrong side is really beautiful as well so you can use whatever side you want to be the right side or wrong side it doesn't matter and then this is one oh sorry <laughs> this is 18 and a half inches wide okay and then about 15 inches long if you want is wider you just need to add more chains when you start okay and then if you want is longer you add more rows it's very easy so yeah enjoy and good luck for this project I'm using two colors you can use more than two colors or you can use just one color it's totally up to you and this is Burnett Mega Big and 50% cotton and 50% nylon. It is 8.8 .8 ounces, 66 yards for each skin. And the yarn size jumbo seven. And here is the color. And the other color is also same brand, brunette, mega big. And here is the color. So I will put all the details in the description below. Please go check it out. And I use almost the whole skin. I just have a little bit left for both color. And crochet hook size 10 millimeters and they recommend size 6 I'm sorry 15 millimeters but I want my stitches tighter so I go with 10 millimeter hook your needle markers and scissors okay first I gonna make slip knot so I will call this my color A okay so I gonna make 41 chains so this is one oops two three four five so I will meet you guys when I have 41 chains now I have 41 chains and for row one gonna be the wrong size okay and we're gonna skip one chain stitch and then slip stitch into next stitch but I recommend you guys to insert your hook into the little bump on the back of each chain stitch 
So this is normal chain stitch, right? But I want you guys to insert your hook into the little bump on the back. So skip one, slip stitch into the next. But I insert my hook into the little bump on the second chain from hook here. Insert my hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Make sure um, your stitch is not too tight after you make slip stitch. So make it easier to insert your hook for next row, okay? And do that again with next stitch. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. So, do again with next stitch. We're just gonna repeat that into each stitch across. Insert hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Next stitch, insert hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Okay, so keep making slip stitch into the little bump on the back of each chain stitch till you come to the end of row 1 and I will meet you guys there. I'm in the end of row 1 and I have 40 stitches. And now, so this stitches is difficult to, uh, to see what row you add. So you can place the marker as well when you finish the row. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to place the marker into row 1 here. Okay? You don't have to if you don't want, okay? This is totally up to you. And then for row 2, you're going to chain 1 and turn. The chain 1 never count at a stitch. And the row 2 going to be the right side. And then we're going to slip stitch into each front loop across. So you see this V, usually we go into that stitch, right? But this time, we're just going to go into the front loop only. See, this is front loop. So here is the first front loop. Insert the hook into the first front loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. This is the first stitch of row 2. And then repeat that into each front loop across. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And make sure, um, don't make your stitches too tight. So I'm going to repeat that. Insert my hook into next front loop, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Insert the hook into next front loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Okay, that's what it look like. It's pretty easy pattern, right? <laughs> so now, on row 2, you can place the marker right here as well. Or you can place the marker when you at the end of row 2. It's just going to show you guys. So for me, i just going to use stitch counting. So like I'm in the end of row 1, I'm just going to write it down the end of row 2 I'm just gonna write it down so I don't need marker okay so keep making that till you come to the end of row 2 I'm in the end of row 2 and I have the same 40 stitches and make sure to count your stitches every row so you know increase or decrease by accident and now for row 3 to row 17 you're gonna repeat row 2 which is chain 1 and turn and the chain 1 never count as a stitch and we're gonna make one slip stitch into each front loop across see front loop so insert my hook into the first front loop pull up a loop and pull it through Insert the hook into next front loop, pull up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into the next front loop, pull up a loop and pull it through. Alright, so 
you're gonna keep making that into each fun loop across and when you uh, you come to the end of row 3 you're gonna start row 4 exactly the same and I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of row 17 I'm at the end of row 17 but I haven't made the last stitch yet because we're gonna chain color and I will show you how we chain color. So I'm gonna insert the hook into the last fun loop and this time we're not gonna grab the same yarn color and bring it out. We're gonna I'm gonna insert the hook again <laughs> just to show you guys. And then bring the new yarn, new color, grab the new color, pull up a loop and pull it through. This is how we chain color. And we're gonna start the same chain one and turn so this is row 18 and then we are gonna repeat the same pattern and for row 18 to row 21 I gonna use my color B okay so I just gonna insert my hook into the first fun loop here up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into the next front loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Make sure your stitch is not too tight. And then insert the hook into next front loop. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> like I said, for row 18 to row 21, I gonna uh, use the color B and repeat the same pattern okay and I just gonna cut uh, the color A here cut the yarn just leave a little bit of tail just enough to whip in the end and I will whip all the end later okay so I will meet you guys back in when I come to the end of row 21 I'm in the end of row 21 and I'm gonna chain color again okay so I haven't made the last stitch yet so I insert the hook into the last fun loop and then I'm gonna bring my color A pull up a loop and pull it through see when we chain color we gonna do exactly the same and then for row 22 I chain one and turn repeat the same pattern I'm just gonna cut my color B here okay I'm just gonna insert my hook into the first fun loop here repeat the same pattern and then pull up a loop and pull it through oops <laughs> pull it through Okay, and then insert the hook into the next fun loop, pull up a loop and pull it through. Insert the hook into next fun loop, pull up a loop and pull it through. Alright, so for me, row 22 to row 25, I'm gonna use my color A and repeat exactly the same pattern all right and i will meet you guys back in when i come to the end of row 25 i'm in the end of row 25 and we're gonna chain color again so i'm just gonna insert my hook into the last fun loop and bring my color b pull up a loop and pull it through see we do exactly the same but I just want to show you guys just in case okay so for row 26 to row 42 I'm gonna use the color B and repeat uh, do, sorry repeat the same pattern I'm just gonna cut my color A here so I insert my hook into the first fun loop Pull up a loop and pull it through. 
sorry. <laughs> and then insert my hook into next front loop, pull up a loop and pull through. Insert the hook, pull up a loop and pull through. Alright, so just keep repeat the same pattern. And yeah, like I said, I gonna repeat uh, the same pattern till I have uh, till I come to the end of row 42 and I will meet you guys back in. Now I'm in the end of row 42 and then I just gonna cut the yarn and pull the yarn out and then I just gonna weave all the ends. So I bring my yarn needle Just gonna insert my needle into this stitch here, and then I insert my needle into the last stitch, and then into the back. Oops. This yarn, when you weave the end, you have to go right into the stitch not into the yarn because it'll get stuck okay so it's just gonna keep weaving the end on the wrong side here Make sure it's secure and then you're just gonna trim the tail. And then we're just gonna weave all the ends here. I'm just gonna show you a couple. Okay, so I bring my yarn needle again and then I insert my needle into the last stitch right there okay and I just gonna insert my needle right here just to cover the uh, green yarn there a little bit <laughs> and then I go on the back the wrong side And I got, I just gonna hide the tail on the wrong side. Oops. Like I said, this yarn you have to go right into the stitch. Okay. Otherwise, your needle gonna get stuck with uh, the yarn. Okay, make sure it's secure and then you just gonna trim the tail. Pull out a little bit. Try to hide it. <laughs> Alright, and then I just gonna weep the green color here. I'm sure you guys know how to weep the end, but I just gonna weep the end with you guys. <laughs> just couple. Oops. Okay. And then go to the wrong side and hide the tail.
I think if you guys use a uh, smaller crochet hook to hide the tails, it'll be easier than uh, your needle, I think. Because the your needle gets stuck a lot because it's insert right into um, the yarn. Yeah, whatever you prefer, you like. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this tail here. Alright, so you can uh, hide all the tails. This one as well. Okay. Now I hide all my tails. That's what it looks like on the right side. And here is the wrong side. Actually, the wrong side is pretty cool too, right? <laughs> so yeah, whatever you can choose to be the right side or wrong side, it doesn't matter. So yeah, congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to see your project as well. Please text me on Instagram or Facebook. I will put all the links in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.